Hey y'all, it's Base Ed Dipper here, dipping some grizzly long coat wintergreen while spitting in the General Lee mud jug and wearing my spit with pride hat. Now just a minute ago, I actually looked through my camera at my hat, and I noticed I had a confederate flag on it, and I also realized I was spitting in a General Lee mud jug, so to me it's actually kind of a win-win in a sense, so yeah. Anyways, I want to give a shout out to my boy NH Dippers, he is an awesome dude, he is like my brother. You are a cool man, keep making those videos, and I will see you on Xbox. Anyways, I got a package in the mail, but um, I actually had to put it back in the uh, box that it came in because my grandmother accidentally opened it and I wanted to get an unboxing video for y'all. Now it is used, so yeah, and what I got was a new phone for Boost Mobile. Now I will still be using the current phone I'm using right now for videos just because my case has the um, the stand on it and I thought that was pretty cool, but this is the LG Venice, I guess that's how you pronounce it. And it is a touchscreen phone, as you can see. Like I said, it's used. It didn't come with a charger, but it I have a charger for it anyway. So, yeah, my grandmother's got one just like it. So, that works out perfect. And I have an LG charger that is the same charger. So, yeah, this is what you get when you uh, pull it out of the box. <clears throat> um, you get a great news from Android. Uh, your LG Venus device is loaded with the latest Android 4.1 Jelly Bean operating system. Hmm. Okay, so 4.1 is Jelly Bean. I was trying to figure that out because I had a little um, Eviant uh, 4.1 tablet. and Or no, it wasn't 4.1. It was um, a kernel edition or something like that. But um, I was trying to figure out what 4.1 was. And it does go for Jelly Bean, so yeah. So now that I figured that out, we'll go ahead and look at more of the stuff they uh, include in the package, or at least the owners include the original owner's manual. Make sure I didn't forget anything. So yeah, you got your get started. And this thing actually, this is pretty cool. I mean, look at that. It's actually color coded, so you, like, you have welcome, activation. I already know how to activate these phones, so yeah. Uh, you actually have a couple of different pages in different languages, so yeah. Um, so you have welcome activation device guide add-on safety and warranty in terms and condition. Now I think these have like four or five pages like in different languages. Uh, I think one's Spanish, one's French, and something else. Uh, I could be wrong. But um, we're actually going to take a look at the device because that's what I'm most interested in. Even though my grandmother already has one and I checked it out when she got hers. So yeah, <clears throat> going to go ahead. And pop it open. Um, the battery's already in it, which is surprising. So yeah, um, you get a little a cell phone. Eh. It looks like you can actually trade or ship back in your cell phone, or if the battery is not attached to the phone. Okay, well, that's just easy instructions how to put your battery in. Um, but you do, you can use this to send a phone back. Um, if your phone's not working, this is like a return shipping. Um, you send it into the tech service, and they actually fix your phone. So, yeah. And to be honest, this phone is used. But if you just look at it, it doesn't even look like it's been used. I mean, it's got a few minor scuffs and uh, whatnot. But overall, it's really nice. And even... I don't know if you can see this, but they actually kept a little screen protector on, so we're going to go ahead and take that off and view the uh, nice, clean screen. Uh, no scratches whatsoever on the screen itself. Um, there's a little bit of dings on the side and minor scuffs. Um, aesthetic, um, uh, what would you call it, damages. Um, it doesn't affect the uh, function of the phone whatsoever, and it... It was already on. That's pretty weird. Oh, because she connected it up to the charger and it automatically turned on. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't care. So, yeah. That's what the uh, 4.1 looks like. And I, I'm actually kind of curious. Oh, 5.0 megapixels. It's actually the same as this one. And it also has the front-facing camera. So, yeah. I will do a... Um, I'll try and get another camera. Do a side-by-side -side comparisons between the... Samsung Galaxy Prevail 2 and the LG Venice, Venice, I guess that's how you pronounce it, but um, 
Yeah, yeah, battery's not uh that charged. But um 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top, charging port on the bottom, and power buttons also on the top. <clears throat> and if you look, it's actually really nice because unlike most phones and um oh well most phones, the volume rocker actually doesn't stick out past the phone, so it's like it's kind of concealed, so it's not like out there where you notice it. And it does have a flash on the back, which is really nice. Um, action on it's really smooth. It's got a pull down notification menu or notification bar. Apps. Let's see if there's any pictures on here. I don't think there is. Okay, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, go ahead, turn it off, and pull that back off real quick. See what we're working with. Um, if I can ever figure out how to do it. I know my stepdad did it, but I'm not my stepdad. I use a makeshift guitar pick. Give me a second, guys. There we go. Pulling the back off, because I think it has an SD card in it. I'm not sure. Okay, yes, it does have a micro SD card. Go ahead and turn off the phone, because it didn't want to turn off power off. Continue. Alright. <clears throat> Just wait for it to power off real quick. And it does have a micro SD card, which is cool. Alright, it is off. And let's see what gigabytes we're running here. Oh, two gigabytes. I think that's the same. No, the one that's in this phone is four gigabytes. So I may swap them around. But, um, yeah. And the owners, or the sellers, actually... Here, give me a second. Pop that case or cover back back on. They also included a exoskeleton case. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Go ahead and put it on. Um, I will not be using this phone at the moment because my service is shut off. But once I get that back up and running, I will go ahead and uh get my service transferred over. So yep, yeah, that's what the case looks like. It's a really nice phone. Let's see how bright this LED is. I wish the internet box would quit falling. Um, yes, where I'm at, my office, whatever you want to call it, utility room, you name it, whatever. Um, I call it my game room slash office, but um, it the internet box is back here. So, like, whenever the internet goes out, I can just hurry up and reset it. And it works out perfect because my Xbox is right here, my TV is right here, my PlayStation um, sorry if you could not hear me. If I don't speak loud enough, I'll start cutting in and out. So if I did that throughout the video, I'm sorry, guys. So yeah. All right. These phone, these uh, boost mobile phones take forever to power up. It's kind of weird. But um, yeah, the case is really nice. Um, really comfortable in the hands. It's quite big actually. I think this is the first video that ever got straight to the point. Okay, I'm at 9%. The battery is getting really low. I might have to charge it. But it's... No, wait. Hang on. I think, um... Okay, that... Well, you've seen how bright the flash was. But, um, it's scanning my media files and scanning the SD card. Which is really good. But I will be able to put my, uh... Oh, fuck, what was it? My micro SD card that's in this one. I'm gonna swap those two. So I'm gonna have two gigabytes in this one and a four gigabyte in that one. So yeah, guys, this is Basehead Dipper signing out.